my fellow nerds. This is a glorious Wednesday. The weather is awesome. Texas is melted. I still don't have water, but we're working on it. We'll get water pretty soon. So um, I'm going to do my podcast a little bit differently. But before I get into that, this is the Nerd in Texas podcast. My name is Chanel, and I will be your host. This podcast is about TV shows, movies, books, video games, and anything that you might consider nerdy. Um, I have a tiny special guest right now. Say hi. Hello, I'm not in school today. Well, she has virtual school because her school had a lot of water damage because of the blizzard that came through Texas when Elsa walked through Texas and messed up a lot of schools. So her school was one of them and she is now virtual learning and she's now home with me and she says hi. You should tell them about the cat story. Um, I'll do that later. Okay. <laughs> All right. So before I get into that, I'm going to let you know um, a little bit of a life hack, a little bit of a thing that really saved me. And that is Instacart. When you do not want to go grocery shopping, you can have your groceries delivered to you. Yeah. Wait, what? Yeah. You can have your groceries delivered to you. To us. Yeah, so when you don't want to load all your kids up into the car, take them to the grocery store because they want to buy everything. Because we have our own money, okay? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> you can get Instacart, Hello, which she says bye. <laughs> um, you, okay, so uh, you can get Instacart, which is a just a monthly fee for your unlimited grocery deliveries instead of having to pay every time you use it. Um, if you have, you have an Instacart shopper who shops at your preferences, you get your groceries delivered as fast as an hour. There's multiple stores available, even Costco. They pick fresh produce and they will protect your eggs too. So follow my link in the description that I'm going to be putting in there and you get your first delivery free. So that's my little life hack. That's my little life save, my little time save. It, it, it really does save a lot of time and... It's just amazing. So, now let's get into this podcast. Um, It's going to be like three parts. First part is going to be all the things that I wish I could cosplay. And then the second part is some questions that people have asked. And then the third part is what's going to be the future of my podcast. This podcast is going to be a little bit more relaxed. Kind of want to call it like Suggestion Box Wednesday or feedback Wednesday because I'm kind of going off of all the feedback that I'm getting from people and so that's kind of kind of what Rue did this and then last night I messaged my best buddy best pal Kevin and was like what do I do my podcast about tomorrow because I'm running out of things for Star Wars Wednesday because Mandalorian's not out anymore I talked about all the new things that were coming out and it's just oh it's just a mixture of things that I don't know couldn't really come up with so he was like what about cosplay? And I was like, perfect. So I came up with a list about, hold on, let me find my list, about all the things that I wish I could cosplay, okay? Some really good ones. And of course, I'm going to talk about my Star Wars cosplays that I wish I could do. A lot of the times when I'm watching something, I'm like, oh, dang, it would be so cool to cosplay that. But I never write them down. (laughs) And I get all these ideas in my head. I never write them down. And now I'm trying to, like, come up with a list. And I'm like, crap. What did I want to cosplay? So, sorry. I accidentally hit the thing. So, here we go. First one for Star Wars would be Dark Rey. That's, like, the Sith version of Rey. You see her in um, the last Star Wars movie. Why did it slip? Oh, uh, Rise of Skywalker. See her in Rise of Skywalker. But you only see, like a glimpse of her because it was Kylo Ren showing her like who she would be as a Sith and how bad how amazing she would be as a Sith and that's exactly like I don't know I just I love those like tough chick like yeah like I just love those kind of characters and I love I would totally love to do a Dark Rey, a dark Sith version of Rey. And of course, um, I would love to do Cara Dune from Mandalorian. It really sucks what's going on with 
Gina Carano right now, of case if you guys don't know, she got fired from Star Wars and Disney and will no longer be playing Cara Dune. And I loved Cara Dune's character. Um, I have a whole opinion on how I feel about that. And of course, everything is political and I don't want to get political, but I still love her. I still wish she could be Cara Dune. A lot of people hate her, but hey, it happens. It comes with the territory, I guess. It'd be really cool to come up with a Rebellion fighter pilot cosplay. Like, I want the helmet and everything. I thought that would be really cool. Um, I want to do Padme, but, like, Attack of the Clones version of Padme. I don't know if I could do that whole headpiece and then, like, the, the lipstick where it's, like, the one red... I don't know. <laughs> Like I said, I like characters or women characters or whoever who kick butt and fight and I love fighting scenes. I'll get more into that with other characters. But the one thing that I wish we saw more of in the Star Wars universe or franchise or whatever and I I thought I saw a rumor of them trying to introduce her in Mandalorian and that would be Mara Jade Skywalker, who is actually Luke Skywalker's wife. It would be awesome. So if you don't really know much about Mara Jade Skywalker, she's Luke Skywalker's wife. She was the former Emperor's hand turned Jedi. Like, how cool is that? <laughs> uh, just, yeah, that would be freaking awesome. And of course, my number one Star Wars cosplay and, of course, it's, like, what every woman does. And the one thing that I wish, like, I wish, I wish, I wish I could do. Like, I wish I had the body for it. And I wish I was, like, skinny and thin, which I gotta get my butt in shape. Because I have to do this at least once in my lifetime. And I want to do it before I'm, like, 40. And I'm gonna be 35 this year. Is Princess Leia in the metal bikini. Like, that is, like, the gold standard of Star Wars cosplay. You know what I mean? So, like, I gotta do that at least once in my lifetime. And I don't want to do it in the body that I have right now. <laughs> so, I'm gonna work on that. I promise. We're gonna talk more about that later. So, now I'm gonna get into Marvel. Um, the Marvel characters that I would love to cosplay would be Hela from Thor Ragnarok. I, I know a little bit more about Thor and that type of thing because of uh, I discovered I'm like descendants from Vikings and I read a whole book about Viking mythology and all that stuff. So I see pe women who do like Lady Loki, who do like a, a women version of Loki. But what people don't understand is, or don't know, not that they don't understand, is Hela is actually Loki's daughter. <gasps> Mind blown. That is a whole other podcast I can get into later about Loki or Marvel or Thor or whatever because the Thor movie is coming out later so I can definitely do a podcast later about that um it would be awesome to be Black Widow but like earlier Black Widow when she was like when she has the cool shield cost not costume but shield uniform and stuff like that it would be really awesome to do Black except I did like her um, outfit or whatever you call hers, like, costume, I don't know what you would call it, because you can't, you don't call it Thor's get up a costume, but I guess her armor, I mean, it would be the same thing, um, in Age of Ultron, where it had, like, it was all lit up blue, I thought that was cool, it would be cool to do that, I wouldn't know how I would make it light up blue, but I could try. Um, one that I've always wanted to do was Mystique. I found this really cool one where this, like, lady had, like, half of her outfit, like, a suit, and then half of it was, like, body paint type, body suit type thing, and it just looked like she was transferring into somebody, and it was just so cool. I would totally do that. That, I, it's like, I don't know, that's one of my favorites. Um, another one I would do is female, it's like a female vintage pinup style of Captain America. I actually own a sewing machine and I actually have the pattern for that. I bought it like a long time ago. I just haven't made it. So maybe if I just sit down and make it, 
I would do it. Maybe that'll be my first one, is this pinup style Captain America, which would be rad. Then I would need to find a Captain America shield, but I'm sure it wouldn't be hard to make one. I bet you I could do it. So I already talked about Black Widow. I don't know why I have it on here twice. Um, I was told by someone that I would make a really great Gwen Stacy, you know, Spider Girl, where she's got like the white and the pink, but except that's like the new version of Gwen Stacy, like old school Gwen Stacy. I would do that totally. Um, I want to do Captain Marvel, but old school comic book, blah, 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 comic book version of Captain Marvel, where she has the thing like tied around her hip. That's totally sexy. I would totally do that. Um, and of course my number one Marvel thing that I would totally, 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 totally love to do. Okay, so I have two number ones. I'm going to have to like figure out how I'm going to do, how I'm going to, I just have something that's tied for number one, okay? And one of the number ones would be Rogue from X-Men, but like the old school X-Men Rogue, not the movie that just... They did her so wrong in the movie. Um, Valkyrie. Valkyrie, Val- I would, number one, number one, number one that I had on here is Valkyrie from Thor Ragnarok. She's just so awesome. I love her. She was such an awesome character in that movie. Maybe I'm going to have to do one about Thor Ragnarok because that's like one of my, we watched it last night. Me and Lily had like a Thor marathon because for some reason, We kind of had this snowball effect where I had a marathon with Bailey leading up to WandaVision because she wanted to watch all the WandaVision. So I made them watch um, Avengers Age of Ultron and then I made them watch X-Men Days of Future Past so she could see the different Quicksilvers and then WandaVision. So once we were watching, we just went on this Thor, this Thor avalanche of marathons and it was funny because I we watched the first Thor and then we went to bed and then the next morning she was watching Thor 2 and I didn't even like tell her to do it she just like woke up she like crawled in my bed woke up turned on everything and found it herself and was watching Thor 2 I thought it was hilarious so we watched that the next morning so moving on to other things that I'd love to cosplay in the DC category would be Raven from Teen Titans. I saw a really cool one of hers on Pinterest that I thought would be cool. Um, another one is I found a vintage, like, female pinup version of Wonder Woman. I feel like everyone does Wonder Woman. And to have, like, a Wonder Woman but different would be really cool. There's this whole, like, bombshells line of patterns and stuff that you can get. Like, the same one that I got for Captain the Captain America one. They have That brand also has a Wonder Woman pattern, but I think I'm going to stick with the captain. I actually need to find it. I need to dig out all my stuff and find it. Um, Poison Ivy, but like 90s Batman with uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. I forget who. It was Uma Thurman. I'm going to Google it really quick while I'm doing this podcast. Um, Poison. Sorry. Yes, it was Uma Thurman. So I was right. I love it when I'm right there for for a second. Um, Uma Thurman's version from uh, Batman. The Batman and Robin movie would be totally awesome. And then everyone does... um, Everyone does the basic, like, when it comes to DC, they always do Harley Quinn. If I did Harley Quinn, it would be a 90s animated suit, like... Batman animated series version of of Harley Quinn, not like the new Harley Quinn. Um, Killer Frost Batman animated series. It would be cool to do hers. Hers is like a really cool. Um, can't hard to explain what Killer Frost. But I I am a huge fan of the Batman animated series. Like I love Batman and. All these different changes to the Batman movies kind of sucks. Like, Christian Bale Batman was awesome. Um, I I know Robert Pattinson is going to be 
is going to be Batman, and that actually looked really good. I was kind of like, I don't know, not, I was skeptical. And then I saw the trailer, and I was like, okay, this is actually going to be really cool. I am down for it. I am down for the whole thing. Another thing that I'm a fan of, of the 90s animated cartoon, ooh, sorry, I just like hiccuped without trying to like, and then try to stop myself from hiccuping, <laughs> uh, would be Hawk Girl, Hawk Girl, it's hard to say Hawk Girl, in the animated Justice League, she would be really cool. I found a female version of Aquaman, but like a really cool one, it's like an old school, really cool female version of Aquaman that I would do, and my number one DC that I would cosplay, um, I found it on Pinterest, because I'm always on Pinterest searching things to cosplay, and just because I love, I I love seeing other people's cosplays, and then I wish I could do it, and I don't do it, and I get all these really cool ideas in my head, and then I don't do it, and I kind of wish I did. I'm such a big contradiction, it's not even funny (laughs) Like, I want a date and I want a relationship, but then I don't. Like, the thought of having to meet someone's parents while I'm, when I'm 35, just kind of like, um, do I have to? (laughs) Um, anyways, so my number one DC would be Bane. I found this really cool girl, female Bane cosplay that this one girl did, and it was just so cool. So, that's a... Yeah, that's my number one DC. For Disney, um, I don't have a whole lot of Disney ones that I would do because I'm not really a Disney princess type. My one and only, not my one and only, but my favorite Disney princess movie is Princess and the Frog. And one of my favorite girls in that is her best friend, Lottie. I would totally do Lottie. Um, She cracks me up and... She just, she just, she would have a cool cosplay. I would totally do that. I'd be down for that. Uh, there was actually, like, they, I do find on Pinterest where women take princess characters and turn them into, like, versions of Boba Fett. Like, there was this aerial version of Boba Fett, which is really cool. Or they turn princess versions into, like, into Jedis. Like, I found... A Belle from Beauty and the Beast Jedi, where she has, like, her her lightsaber kind of looks like the candlestick guy from Beauty and the Beast. And then, of course, they had Chewbacca with her, so it was like Chewbacca was the Beast, and she was Belle, and she was a Jedi. I thought that was cool. That was uh, The reason why I think th- stuff like that is cool is because nobody else is doing it. No one else has thought of that. So, that would be cool. And I saw a really cool aerial Boba Fett. That, it was pretty decked out and it was pretty cool. Oh, oh, I don't know why I didn't think of this. But, like, I thought I wrote it down. I guess my number one person that I would cosplay on Disney, that would be my number one go-to, would be Ursula. I would so dig doing Ursula. Like, I get on Pinterest and I find so many women who do so many cool versions of Ursula that I'd so be down for it. Oh, yeah. I really need to get on to cosplay. The more (laughs) I always, sorry if I'm like breathing into the microphone too much. Um, like I said, there's so many things that I wish I could cosplay. Like there's so many, I have this whole, I have a whole board of it on Pinterest of all these things that I wish I could do and I don't do them, and that's something that I'm going to get into later on my podcast about, because it's a whole other story. Um, so my random ones that aren't really, you know, I guess you could sit, consider them random, would be a female version of Daryl Dixon from The Walking Dead. I already have his jacket, where it's got, like, the wings on the back of it. I've just never done anything with it. And then it would be Negan, because I have Lucille. Um, Well, okay. I used to have Lucille, the bat, which was like a Walking Dead, um, you know, the bat. I can't think of the word. God, I'm so, I'm messing up my podcast so bad lately, and I'm so sorry. But um, I would, the, the Lucille bat that I had, it broke. 
Um, I'm trying to fix it. So far it hasn't been working. I was, the, my kids broke it and I was so upset. Like I went into my house and cried, but I didn't tell the girls that. (laughs) I didn't want them to know that I was so upset that they broke it, that I was crying just because I don't, I I don't know. I didn't want them to feel guilty or feel bad because it broke on an accident. Anytime things like that happen, you know, can't cry over spilled milk and I didn't want them feeling terrible for it. So I'm going to figure out a way to fix it. But anyways, back on to cosplays. My number one, my number one thing that I would love to cosplay is Lagatha from Vikings, from the TV show Vikings. I plan on doing a cosplay about, I mean a cosplay, a podcast about Vikings because it's like a show that I love to watch. Um, so I already said Valkyrie, she's a Viking. And then Astrid from How to Train Your Dragon. She's a Viking, so that would be cool. If you're not catching on to the theme here, I love Vikings because, like I said, I found out I was like a descendant from Vikings. And it would just be really cool to come up with a Viking costume. And Lagatha is one of my favorites in the Viking, in the Viking TV show. So now that I've got the that over with, sorry if that was too loud. I'm still working on my levels on my podcast and I really didn't mean to be loud there for a second. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to post a picture of myself on Instagram and what you're going to do is you're good. Well, it's not just going to be just on Instagram. It's going to be on Instagram, Facebook, all that fun stuff. What you're going to do is comment, message me, whatever the case may be on who you think I should cosplay. I'll also post a picture of my discord so people can reply to my discord um if you are not in my discord i have a nerd in texas server and you can get in there and you can get on my discord and it's like a major just a big chat room it alerts you when i have a new podcast if you want to get on my discord that would be awesome i would love it um so yeah that concludes my cosplay part of this podcast so the second part is Questions. Um, a lot of people have sent me questions. I'm trying, trying really hard not to say um a lot. So a lot of people have sent me questions either on Instagram, Facebook. Um, and so I'm going to answer your questions. One of the things that I got from my feedback is that they want to hear more um, from me, like about my daily life or about my life, I guess. And want more about, you know, just about me. Because I guess I kind of get on there and I talk too much about what I'm... Hold on, I'm trying to take my jacket off. (laughs) I'm trying to take my hoodie off without messing up my headphones. I gotta take them off really quick. Hold on. So I guess I talk too much about whatever show I'm talking about at the time. And people want to hear more about me. So here are some about me questions that have been asked. Either in messages on Instagram or Facebook, or whatever. And my number one question is, why did I start a podcast? This is a question for people who actually want to know, who are supportive of me, and they love that I started a podcast. And then this is also a question for the haters, because haters are going to hate. And I get, I don't know, I got, okay, so since starting this, I got like two messages on people who are like, ugh, why did you start a podcast? Like, you're a podcast by yourself. Like, just being rude about it. And of course, I ignore those people. But here's the answer. Here's why I started a podcast. One is because growing up, um, I watched Star Wars, Indiana Jones, uh, Terminator, um, like the list goes on and on and on about, to- okay, so Tombstone, Uh, John Wayne movies, Western movies, um, and when I say John Wayne movies, like, old black and white John Wayne movies. Like, when he first started, when he was, like, 16 years old, John Wayne movies, with my dad. Over and over and over and over and over and over. Like, when I emphasize over and over and over, I mean, we watch it, we rewind it, we watch it again. We rewind it, we watch it again. That's exactly how my dad was, okay? Um... I was really close with my dad, and in a way, as I would sit on the couch with him when we would do these things, 
and in high school when kids were out going to high school parties or house parties or doing whatever, I'd be like, uh, nah, I'm going to stay home and watch Top Gun, (laughs) you know, and I I guess it's just the way of, like, my dad passed away when I was 18, and after that, I kind of didn't talk about it. Like, I didn't talk about any of that stuff. Of course, I have a whole bunch of redneck cousins, and I had really close family members that just weren't understanding. I mean, I still have family members that aren't understanding about it, and so... I kind of hid it for a long time. Like, I hid that I loved these things for a long time. And now that I'm an adult, my... What I care about what other think, what other people, like, what other people think, has completely broken. Has completely, like, this is who I am. This is what I like. If you don't like it, I'm sorry. You know? I don't like that you... I don't know, there's some, I'm sure I could come up with something that I don't like that a person does, but I'm not going to comment on it. I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to judge you for it. I'm not going to get on here and be like, why do you barbecue so much? That's just an example. My cousin Nick, please don't yell at me. I'm not talking about you because we love your barbecue. We want your food. I love your food. I'm just giving that as an example. Like, Why do you go to bars so much? Why do you, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not going to ask you. If that's what you're passionate about, I'm going to support you. I'm going to love you on that. For the longest time, I had friends that judged me for everything that I did. And I'm talking about, like, every small move that I made, they judged me. If I wore something weird, they judged me. If I did my hair weird, they judged me. If I posted something about The Walking Dead for... The fifth time, they judged me. Okay, maybe not the fifth time, but... And I didn't realize how I how much I wasn't myself then. And now that I'm an adult, I have met friends that I can completely 100% be myself with. Like, they don't care if I post 50 million times a day. They don't care if I talk about how much I love Kylo Ren. Like... <laughs> They just don't care, and they actually love me for who I am, and sorry, I was just holding a hair tie in my mouth, and it took me a long time to find that. It really did, and part of it was I was holding on to those toxic people for so long, and what really bothers me the most about these toxic people was I weighed the, the... lowest I ever did when I was friends with them and they still called me fat. Now I'm like 60 pounds heavier and yeah, I'm bigger, but I love myself more now than I did then because I didn't have them constantly in my ear making me feel bad. And it's exactly what happened with loving all these things that are considered nerdy, loving Star Wars, loving The Walking Dead, loving Lord of the Rings, loving Harry Potter, like anything. I finally love myself for it, and I finally just want to talk to people about it. I just want to get it out there. I want other people who feel like they are afraid to talk to these things. Like, if you're afraid to talk to your cousins, your friends, your sisters, your brothers, your uncles, whatever, talk to me. I will be more than happy to talk to you about fandoms and stuff like that. So I really want to just create this podcast and create a community where... Everybody felt like they could be themselves and they didn't have to worry about it. So that is my goal. That is one thing that I hope I'm doing. I get more messages about like, thank you for continuing to do these podcasts. Thank you for continuing to do this even when it's like froze over. And that's what I love. Those are the ones I listen to. Not the, not the haters, I guess you could call. So... (laughs) I kind of got a little too much, too serious on that question, and I could go on and on about it. I could go more into depth about it. I could get more serious about it, but I'm going to lighten up the mood a little bit, and I'm going to answer other questions that I think are more fun questions, like my favorite foods. I love Italian food. Ugh, if you put a plate of, like, spaghetti and meatballs in front of me, oh, yes, yes. I love Italian food, spaghetti and meatballs. Stuff like that. If I were to get a hamburger, 
There's a place in Leander called Shark's Burger. Oh, they have the best burger ever. So if you are in the Leander, Texas, Cedar Park, Texas area, go get you a burger from Shark's Burger. So good, okay? Texas food related, like if it's if it's barbecue, slab barbecue slams. It is so good. I always get their notorious PIG and their twice baked potato casserole. The only problem is it's kind of far away from my house, but I lucked out. Bailey's or Lily's cheer practice moved to like across the highway for them, so I get it every now and then. Um what other oh if it's like breakfast taco cabana i love their bean and cheese and potato tacos yeah i know i'm weird bean cheese and potato and it's considered a breakfast taco and i can only get it during (laughs) breakfast because like i can only get potato in the morning so i don't know i'm weird bean and cheese and potato are my favorite There is also a donut shop in Cedar Park. It's a chain of super donuts, but but I think they changed their name. I'm not exactly sure what they changed. I think they changed it to like Grand Donuts or something. But there's this one in Cedar Park that for some reason, their jalapeno and cheese kolaches are different from the other Grand Donut chains. I don't know what they do, but it's just, they're so good. (laughs) So I love kolaches. And I know that's not how you pronounce them properly, but I don't know how to pro- properly pronounce the, the kolache thing, so I'm sorry if I'm offending anyone by calling them kolaches. I just don't know how to say it the other way. Um, favorite drinks would be, of course, my Red Bull. I drink Red Bull. Uh, if it's soda, I would say Dr. Pepper. If it's, um, I drink... I go to Kung Fu Tea a lot, like they have boba tea, and I get either their blended strawberry milk, or I get their um, iced uh, tea milk, like they have this tea milk thing with the boba. Sometimes I get it with the little boba bubbles, sometimes I don't. just depends on what kind of a mood I'm in. So if you pay attention to my Twitch... (laughs) Uh, I don't know if I've talked about it on Discord or not. The one thing I love about streaming on Twitch, I don't get to do it as often as I want. And every time I do do it, I always have problems. Like, things slow down. Something doesn't work. But I have a buddy, Mr. Jacob, the Mr. Developer, who's been helping me out so much. And we are we have a goal to get it working and get it going. Um, I always, I have this like vacation bucket list. I have a bucket list of places that I want to go. And my number one place, cause someone asked if I could go anywhere, where would I go? Of course is Norway. I'd go to Norway. Um, I had a whole list in my head. It was like Norway's number one, Scotland. And then I had somewhere else, but I can't think of it. I'm going to have to actually like write it down. <laughs> So those are the questions I have about me so far. Those, are, um, If you have any more questions about me, like you want to ask me, go for it. I know I say that I have my, my Ko-fi page where if you send a dollar, you can ask me anything. Those are, I mean, I'm probably going to take that off just because I like asking questions and I don't want you to have to, I kind of did it just as a way to raise money for my podcast and stuff like that. So I'm probably going to take that off and try and figure something else out. Um, now I'm going to talk about what's upcoming with my podcast. One, I'm going to do videos. I'm waiting on my new webcam. It was supposed to be here today, but of course, Amazon was like, sorry, it's being shipped late and I won't get it until Saturday. So that's fun. But I'm going to touch base more on books that I've read and I'm going to figure out a game plan on how to talk about Lord of the Rings and because there's just so many different it's like lord of the rings is like a giant tree there's so many little branches and so many little like i guess you could call them spin-offs and so many little things about lord of the rings that i could start i just don't know where to start so i'm going to come up with a game plan on where to start where i'm going to get into it about lord of the rings and go from there 
Um, I'm gonna talk about Harry Potter, because Harry Potter's gonna have a new movie coming out. So we're gonna get a little bit more into that. Um, it's pretty much it, and I'm gonna get more into my daily, not my daily life, but more into about me, because someone said, like I said, that they want to know more about me, and so I'm gonna do a little bit about that, um, and I'm trying really hard not to say um, but it's not working. If you have any suggestions, any feedback, anything you want me to do, message me. I have a website, nerdintexas.com, where there's like a little message thing. And I have an email, chanel, S-H-A-N-E-L, at nerdintexas.com. I have Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, all those social medias. Just get at me, man. Just send me a message. Shoot me a message. Uh, I will do what, you know, I'll answer any question you want me to answer as long as it's kind of appropriate because I have family members listening to <laughs> If you want me to answer a message privately, I will send you a message privately. Um, just ask, man. You never know unless you ask. Another thing I'm going to get to is uh, my goals. So right now, I'm at 79 downloads on my podcast. I know that's not a lot uh, from people who have like hundreds of downloads a day. Or not a day, but for each episode. Right now, I have like three to five downloads an episode, but I'm getting close to 100. So that's my goal is 100 downloads. I don't know what I'm going to do when I reach my 100 downloads. Message me if you have any ideas of what I could do when I reach 100. Um, my personal goals, because I know you guys want to hear more about me, is I have a certain weight that I'm trying to get out of. I can't say trying because I kind of gave up. (laughs) I kind of gave up when COVID hit and that was a year ago. And so I'm just trying to get back into the swing of things, trying to get back into the mentality, trying to get my motivation back. I guess I could use my cosplay as a motivation because I haven't cosplayed anything and I wish I could cosplay. So maybe that is something that I can get more into and do photos and stuff like that. That's definitely something that I want to get into. I want to Twitch more. Right now, I've just been playing Fortnite, but if there's other things that I want to do, or if you have ideas for me to do on Twitch, not just Fortnite, like other games, other activities. I saw one lady who, like, does tarot readings. (laughs) I thought that was cool, because I do have, uh, I do read tarot, sort of. I'm learning, I guess you could say. So I could do that. At least I could do that on Facebook, on Facebook Live, maybe. Sorry, I'm ugh, stretching. Um, what else? I know I have... So, yeah. So, to lose weight and reach a personal goal, to get out of a certain number that I'm in, and that's about it. That's about it for this podcast. If you want to help support my podcast, I have a Kofi page where you can do... $1 to $3. And like I said, you can send a dollar to a- ask a question. I'm probably going to take that off though. $3, you can do a shout out. I can do a shout out either to you or to your friend or, you know, like happy birthday. I don't know, whatever you want me to do. <laughs> uh, $10, you get to choose what I talk about on my podcast. And what I mean by that is like you get to choose the topic of my podcast. You get to choose everything that I talk about pretty much. It could be about butterflies, rainbows, and unicorns. I don't care. Whatever you (laughs) pay $10, you get to do it. Thank you to those who have already supported me and have already sent in donations on my Ko-fi page. You are the reason that I continue to do podcasts. If I do these podcasts and I only get like three listeners, then so be it because I love those three listeners and... I'll just keep on keeping on. I'll just keep on doing what I can, you know? Hopefully when the world opens up, we'll have Comic-Cons and I can go to Comic-Cons and all that fun stuff. So, with that being said, find me on all the social medias. Go to my website, nerdintexas.com. You can find my Twitch schedule on there. You can watch me stream on my website if you don't have Twitch. I think you can comment from there. I don't know. I haven't tried it out yet. 
I'm probably going to, like, stream live one day and have the girls go on my website and see what happens. Um, like I said, if you want to donate to my podcast so I can keep my podcast going, that's the, my Kofi page. I'll leave all the links in the description. I hope everybody has a great Wednesday. You're amazing. Like Bailey says, you're beautiful. You're amazing. You're awesome. Keep, do- keep up doing the good work with whatever you're doing. Stay safe and be nice to everybody. Peace, love, and everything nerdy.